Hi, today I want to show you how to make your own window color paint. From many years, I have been showing you many colorful projects. And as everybody knows, I make my own paint. So today, I want to share with you my recipes so you can do it yourself. Stay with me and subscribe to my channel. I want to invite you to click right now on your screen or on the link I'll let you in the description below this video for watching all those projects and get the patterns. The first thing I want to show you is that you can make all the colors of paint you want. I always prepare some to make a new project and sometimes I use it all. Something that I want to recommend you is to put a label with the recipe of the color you have made. Because if you have to make more paint in the middle of a project, you will get the same color. So the first ingredient you will need is some acrylic paint. I recommend you to try before all the colors in a piece of paper and then prepare your paint. Here I show you the sketch of the leaves project. So I first painted the leaves as I wanted to make them and then prepare the paint. This way you can plan all the details of your project and reach your objectives. Another thing you can make is to try with the paints you have and make a sketch on paper. As you can see, it looks great on paper if you want to make this with children. In this case, I made a project on rubber Eva that is so flexible and has a very good looking. Next ingredient you'll need is school glue. When you are first using it, it is whitish but then it becomes transparent when dry. Those are samples of school glue that never becomes transparent. They always stay whitish. That kind of glue won't work to make the paint, so choose one that becomes transparent to make a good looking painting. Another thing I want to tell you is that today we are going to prepare two kinds of painting. The first one is a matte painting as this black, white or red painting. So it is completely matte and you won't see through. And the other paint we are going to create is like this pink one that is completely transparent. Here you can see that it's completely transparent and you can see even my finger under the clip. So today we'll make both kinds of paint, transparent and matte. In this example I made with apples, I will put the link so you can go and watch the video. In this apple you have both colors. So you have this red that is matte and then this one that is transparent. And you can combine both on your project. For making the paint, I use the glasses that come with the children cough syrups because they have measures and we are gonna use 10 milliliters of glue. If you want to make more paint, just double or triple the recipe. In this example, I'll make 10 milliliters, but you can prepare more. So firstly, put 10 milliliters of glue on each glass. I will make both paints, the transparent in one glass and then the matte on the other. If 
If you like this project, subscribe to my channel and share with your friends on networks. And now I'm gonna add the acrylic paint. So to make the transparent painting, I'm gonna put two drops. One and two. And to make the matte painting, I'm gonna put 20 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And now mix it with a stick to have an even color. You can clearly see that this one will be the transparent color because it is lighter and this one will be the matte color because it is darker. Let's make a test on an acetate sheet. So you can know the results. So I'm gonna use a stick and a transparent paint for making little drops. I'll show you the results. And then with matte painting I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna let it dry the night, but in summertime I can have it done in two or three hours. So now I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll show you the difference between paintings. Now that it's dry, you can see the difference between matte painting and then the transparent one. So when you have your paint ready, you can put it on this kind of bottles that has a little nozzle, so you can work with it easily. You can also put your paint on different containers and use it with a stick to paint the areas. I'm gonna show you how to make it this way. Imagine this is the drawing I want to paint. First of all, I made this black contour with matte painting but in black color. As I have shown you in other videos, you need to trace first the design with black paint and then leave it dry. So imagine that you want to feel this, but you don't have the nozzle. So you can put with your stick a good amount of paint, so it can cover well and have a good relief. So put some paint on the middle, and then use a thinner stick to move the paint to the edges. Stretch it and it'll stay in place.
So this way you can fill all the areas. I'm gonna show you the same with the other paint. Put a drop. And then stretch it with a stick. So this way you can fill all your project. As I repeat the same recipe as always, I'm gonna refill my tubes with the new paint and mix it well. And now your paint is ready to use. I hope you like this project. Mark us favorite and post a like. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on networks, share with your friends, and click the following images to watch more videos. See you soon. Bye!